Hi, this is John Evan Walker Live at the Noble Sage headquarters in Barnet. It's good to see you today uh, on, I think it's, is it Wednesday today? Wednesday today. And I uh, hope you're having a good day. We have an art, another artwork as we always do at 5 pm every weekday. We've got uh, this work here by AP Santanaraj. I've shown one Santanaraj painting before, which was of a king and his concubine. Um, and I talked a little bit about his process. I have to talk again about his process because if you don't hear it again in relation to this, it, you won't understand the work. So his process is really interesting. It looks like an abstract painting, pretty much, but you can see shapes within it formed here. Um, and you've got four legs there, which give away what it is. And you've got objects on there. Um, uh, the, the process that has come to create this was the canvas being left on the ground and he rips, Santana Raj, the artist, rips pieces of paper and places those papers down, moving them all the time, walking around the canvas, moving them again, moving them again, until he's happy with those pieces of paper. Then he looks, stops, looks at those pieces of paper, the abstract shapes that have been created, remembers them, takes them away off the canvas and starts painting with the memory of those pieces of paper, the memory of those shapes. And as those shapes um, are painted, some lines disappear, some lines come forward, uh, some colour comes in at certain points, some other colours come in or some colours get laid on top, and shapes start to emerge. And here in this work, you can still see the odd shapes here and here and, uh, and other areas like here. You can see these odd shapes that are still um, visually there that from his process. But the final effect is this. It's this big square area at the centre of the canvas, quite symmetrical for Santanaraj, and four legs. And as you can see, this is a tabletop. It's a tabletop with four legs and the piece is called The Legacy of Lord Jesus. So this is a work um, very much in, in tune with uh, Santana Raja's own religious beliefs, deep religious beliefs as a Christian. And he uh, was very, very deeply religious. In fact, he felt that his hand, when he painted, was guided by God itself. So he, he felt that his art and his talent and every single line that he made was uh, empowered and galvanized by his uh, belief in a higher power. And so this is called the, the Legacy of Lord Jesus. And as you can see now, you can probably make out the chalice here, which is obviously the grail. Um, and, and then you've got the Eucharist here, and you've got the tabletop. And so you've got other items here, like the, uh, perhaps the bread and so on, um, or, or, or other items on this table. So this is, um, you know, kind of a tabletop that uh, has a religious symbolism and, and so on. There's even an arrow coming in here, and I wonder whether this relates to how he described the, the light of God um, guiding his hand. I wonder whether that arrow relates to that. I don't know if you can see it from there, but maybe I'll bring it closer in a second. Um, you can see a crucifix here on the actual chalice, uh, on the, um, the grail. Um, and yeah, in the background is this lovely pink. Um, what I love about this work is that it has a, it has a certain trans, subtle translucence. Um, it's not bright, but it's not dull either. And this pink is a very interesting choice, choice of colour for the background. And the shape is very um, mysterious. This table uh, is very mysterious to the eye until you lift, really investigate it further. Um, but I'm very close to this work, and um, this work was actually painted, if I'm right, for the for the Dutch church in um, in uh, Tiruvannamalai. It was painted for that, and then it some one week for one reason or another, it wasn't taken by them, and then I bought it from Santana Raj for my collection. Um, it, I really like it. It's lovely to have, I'm a big fan of religious art, so it's nice to have a deeply religious work in the house of this scale. Um, it's like my own stained glass window in a way. 
I hope you enjoyed that today. We will be here tomorrow, as usual, at five o'clock for another um, Art Insight. I hope you will join us and um, please do share this. And if you would like to make a donation towards our charity uh, that we're raising money for, it is to the PayPal Jana at thenoblesage.com. So it's J-A-N-A at thenoblesage.com. Thank you for all donations. I hope you're enjoying it. Please share, please like, and please comment. I'd love to know what you think of this glorious painting. I'm going to now pick up the phone after you've had a look and bring it closer.